welcome to the new Discovery Show, a show that showcases the latest innovation, trends, as well as new market entrants. We also showcase women who do men work and men who do women work. Now, Metropole Security is a new company in the market, but definitely serves the society at its best. And in the new competitive market, where people and clients have a lot of choices to choose from, we find out why Metropole Security is unique. Metropole Security is a security company located along Thicker Road next to Safari Park Hotel. Being a new security company, it is committed to providing efficiency and personalized security services at both residential and commercial premises. George Muruthi, who is the director of Metropole, explains in details the services Metropole Security offers to the society. We've been the marketer for a while and uh, we basically lend our security services, uh, ranging from mount guarding, uh, dog breeding, we, we breed dogs for show life and breeding life, and we also offer backup, uh, RM backup platform services. So all the services kind of in, in, in they work together, they complement each other. But uh, because a guard will work to be supplemented by supported by a guard, and alarm backups come to support uh, what the guards are doing. And at the end of the day, we are sure that uh, at least we are providing a full range of services to our clients. So basically, those are three lines that uh, we do or we specialize in. Uh, though there are many services that are in the market, but basically. We specialized in mind guarding, dog breeding, and alarm backup response. Security has been his line of expertise for 15 years, where he started off in a supervisory role. Having worked previously with the premier security companies, and when I left and said I decided to start a business, I thought and I I thought the best the best business that I can get into is what I know well. George felt there was a lot of demand in the security sector and that is why he came up with the idea of opening his own security. There was a need and uh, a niche in the market that was not uh, satisfied and therefore we decided to get into security as opposed to our businesses. He has participated in a number of new security initiatives aimed to improve general security services and establishing industry standards. You realize that in Kenya, since the start of terrorism, uh, the insecurity really went up high, and therefore that became a need. The market was demanding for more security services. Every other person became security conscious. Every other organization became security conscious. So every other organization was uh, looking for security services. Every individual was looking for security services, and therefore that's a niche. And therefore having a background uh, experience in that, I, I really felt that something I could do uh, though we start small, not thinking we could grow big, but basically we get got into it and because of doing it well, we found current always looking for services every now and then. Since security is a service work, George began with one client. His company has grown from one security guard to 400 to date. We started with one, of course, because we started with the looking for clients. And once you decide that you're going to lender for these security services, you don't have any clients that are set aside that you're going to lend the service for. So you go out to look for clients, and the first day you go get one client. And then once you get that one client, and you, uh, you look at his needs, he needs one guard also. So you get out and train one guard because that's the need you have. We start by having the need, and then we train that. Because I mean, you cannot train guards and keep them, that you surprise them when you have the business. It is the need because when you go look for business, we prepare the clients and let the clients know that they cannot, you are told they need many guards, they need to, need to give us time to prepare. That preparation is to train the guards, specifically on the needs or the particular needs that the clients need. He satisfied clients, referred him to more clients. From then, we got referrals from that, and from then, we basically grew from referrals, reference from the clients that we are serving. Out of the good service that we are giving them, they refer to other clients, and that's basically how, how we've grown to where we are. At the moment, uh, we, we have around uh, 400 guards, uh, basically spread over Nairobi up to Meru, uh, Nairobi and Mount Kenya region, basically. 
Metropole Security has specific requirements they normally make sure every security guard has before taking them in, which has worked perfectly well for them. For you to be hired to qualify to be a security guard, we look at you must be a Form 4 because you must be fluent in communication and at least trainable. Must be a Form 4 and at least with a good grade. We look at height, we look at physical fitness. You must have a certificate of good conduct, and in case you don't have, you must be willing to apply who you apply before you start the training. And um, we look for referees. You must have two, two or three referees, one of whom must be your relatives or people who know you well, or people working in the government with a fixed address, so that in case of anything, we can, we can uh, look for you in case there are issues. We can look for you through people that have given us reference to. Uh, then uh, we take you we take you through training on various areas that are that are required in the market but basically uh, the additional thing in the recruitment we must have a reference a letter from the local chief where you come from you know that your local chief where you come from is a person who knows you from where you are born knows your father knows your mother and the person even if you take how long if you do something and run away one of the person who can tell us more about who you are is your local chief where your parents are your local people because uh, east or west, you'll eventually one day have to go home. And through our intelligence, once you get to inform your local chief that you are looking for mercy or another person, definitely you tell us the very day that you step in here, let us know. And definitely you can run away from the rest. You can give reference from the local chief of Gidoraya at the moment, whatever it is. But tomorrow you can shift to another estate. But one area you never move away from is your local, your local area. Through that, it has really worked for us well. In case of theft, Metropole Security makes sure thorough investigations are conducted. The security company has insurance cover for the safety of their clients. First and foremost, what we do, we start with investigations. So we train our guards how to, how to protect from crime, not to happen. But when it happens, we start with investigations. We conduct investigations into how, how it happened, what happened, where it happened. How did it happen? What was stolen? And then we conclude that we come and report whether the guards involved or not. Did it happen in a way that the guards could have, uh, could have uh, stopped that from happening? And uh, once we conduct our investigations, then uh, investigations lead us to show that the guards were involved. We actually, we actually uh, present them to the nearest police stations. We charge them with the crime. We charge them with theft. Or in areas that even the guards have not participated but they prevented, they have failed to prevent the crime from happening. We are the same, at least that's, that's also as well as a, as a failure in their duties and the chargeable and the criminal law and the failure to prevent felony. Uh, thereafter, once if at all the case involves the guards involved or they fail to prevent that, we have an insurance cover of over 25 million contractual liability that takes care of such things. Then we reach the crime with the insurers and then we get compensated the clients who have suffered loss, whatever it is. Compared to other security, Metropole Security offers unique services. What makes us unique is that uh, personally I have a massive experience in the security industry and um, with the services we lend, we lend our services at affordable rates. Our rates are quite competitive but our quality is quite superb as opposed to some others you find that the quality the rates are high, the quality is quite poor. George, as the director, has a lot of experience in the field and he believes he offers quality services to his clients. As a director, I offer a personal service. I, I deal with clients one-to-one -one and understand the client's needs and I endeavor to see that what the client has a quest for is actually what we are, we are providing as opposed to maybe to other major companies where it would be very hard for you to access the director. The director may not know who the client is on the ground. He makes sure he knows every individual client and their need, something that a lot of security companies do not do. KYC is a thing that we really strive to do most. Get to know the client as small or big. What is their security need? You offer that advice. You promise the client to work, to work along with them and provide the kind of service that he needs. And therefore, that is what we believe makes us more unique. 
He feels his young company helps the society in many ways. We for the society uh, major one in reducing crime. Uh, second, we have the employment. Um, and third, uh, we are paying taxes to the government, which is basically going back to society. And um, we feel that is one way that we're actually supporting here in the society. We also participate in the, in the communal cleanup where we belong, we participate, our people with our people. So we believe that is the one way that we give, we give back to society. And also we contribute to, our, to the rest of the homes. We as a company contribute to, our, to, the, to such homes. As a young company, he faces several challenges. Uh, basically, the challenges we have is that uh, the competition in the market, which is held at times, but at times you find you want to give the best service in the market, but the clients are very budget conscious. So you find the, the current budgets versus what you want to offer at times now conflicts. Those are some of the challenges, and uh, also uh, you find the budget, the budget, the, the current budget, of course, you you got to pay the guard the, guard the minimum wage. Plus, if you take the minimum wages, plus then you put your markups. Uh, the, 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 the cost per guard or what you charge the client, you find most of the clients can't afford not willing in the case you need to have, to have business. Uh, the other item is um, uh, having employees. You know, we are a corporate market. Today you train your guards very well. Tomorrow they get uh, greener pastures. You know, as a growing company, we have the bigger, bigger brothers who are big and able to pay big and able to convince their clients that are not doing business with bigger clients. Metropole Security makes sure they train their guards before deploying them in different positions and companies. We train our team very well. Tomorrow they get the big brothers are recruiting. They get over there because they are trained, they get absorbed. So the challenge is keep on in training. That is one of the major expense. Keep on in training the people that we need to serve our areas. The fact that our people are living does not mean that we're not going to train a new team to join to work in either they want to be worked. Metropole Security recruits both female and male guards. The young company provides security in haul, from CCTV installation, backup alarms, to security dogs, electric fences, just but to mention a few. Yes, we have both male, male who are guards and female who are guardettes, uh, because we have uh, areas that require uh, the different uh, genders to work. You know, like uh, searching, men can search ladies and ladies can search men. So we have areas that needs, uh, have that need of uh, searching. And in such areas, you must have a lady, a guard and a guardette. That is a lady and a, and, a, and a man. So in such areas, we recruit all. So basically, for during our training, only that we, we recruit more men, because more positions require more men, but majorly as well ladies, we, give, we consider them for like uh, the, the, the services. At Metropole, site visit is vital before their services. The company must visit the site not only for the security guard deploying, but for all the services offered, including CCTV installation as well. Backup alarm is where you, you, you install CCTVs and all alarm, alarm devices, and then you connect them to what we call a transmitter. Then all those, in case like you, CCTV goes in hand with uh, like what you call magnetic contacts, in case you open that door, there's what you call vibration sensors, that is we should connect like through the doors or the walls. And in case there's a, a, an, an attempt of intrusion through such, such a device sends, uh, an, an, uh, sends an ignition to the, to the transmitter, which now triggers to our control and we are able to respond. So basically that falls under electronic security, which we do. Uh, and majorly, but, uh, but majorly when we get um, bigger businesses, we, call, we refer them to uh, people who do it. Uh, who really, there are people who really specialize on that. But for us, what we do most is actually connecting our transmitters to respond to areas that uh, CCTVs, electric fences, and all others have been connected, and we connect to our transmitter, and then we send them. Our basic for CCTV, one of the requirements is to, to, to do what we call site survey. If you call me and tell me you need CCTV in your place, like a place like this, I can't tell you offhand that it costs you 100,000. One of the things I must do, I must visit the site, come do the survey, 
I get to know this, this is the director's office. So the requirements that you must do the site visit so that you do the site survey and then you are able to recommend what is required, how many cameras you need, how many magnetic contacts you need, how many vibration sensors you need to install, whether you need electric fence or not, and then how you connect all these to one such that they send the, the, the signal to the relevant transmitter in case there is interference to any of those. Metropole Security provides dog services, both public and private organizations, according to the needs of their clients. Everyone from individuals, organizations, SMEs, to large corporates require dogs. Dogs are needed for patrol and also for sniffing. The areas are nowadays we are using dogs instead of gadgets to sniff, uh, to sniff uh, for weapons or other illegal stuffs. For compounds which need extreme security, dogs are the best since they are always alert all the time. Dogs come in harder in more in crime prone areas because the better the dogs the dogs work much better than a guard because the dogs can will be alert always and can sense an intruder from very far. So in large compounds, in compounds that are in deserted places, or in compounds that we need extreme security. There are clients who feel that them they need a gun and a dog for optimum security uh, because a dog is quite hardy. Uh, 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 need a guard can be attacked by thugs, but a thug, uh, by, the, by thugs before they attack a, a dog and a hunter, they are they know a dog does not know what a gun is. It'll be the, a dog will have jumped into you before you shoot it. So you need when you need paramount security, a dog comes in hardy. So we have dogs that are trained on working. They are trained to be quite uh, aggressive uh, when need be and trained on how to attack if need be. And they are trained to be friendly if need be. George prefers using the German Shepherds for his clients, though he has plans to bring other types of dogs for more security. For the moment, we use German Shepherds. Uh, shepherds are known as the best working dogs. Uh, they are trainable and uh, the dogs are always willing to, to learn new things and anything that you take it through and they are basically hardy they, they can they can actually work the whole night and they will need to walk around so that makes them really good for initial work because the guard should keep on patrolling so in the in the part in the, that bit of patrolling we patrol with the dog and uh, so german shepherd for now we are working we actually work using german shepherds uh, but uh, soon we are going to have a uh, lot whalers and labradors. Labradors uh, are good, uh, golden, golden retrievers and labrador retrievers, those are another species of dogs, that's good for sniffing. And also lot whalers are equally good for working. The two, the two dogs are good for working, shepherds and lot whalers. We have 20 kennels here. Uh, we expect uh, it to, the kennels to be full with time. At the moment, we have uh, eight German shepherds, ranging from uh, three months to seven months. They are pure pedigrees with their full certificates. You've seen them in the office. And uh, these are pure for breeding, lines and breeding line and show line. So at some point, they will be trained fully to participate in the Jamhuri shows and elsewhere where they are, they, there will be dog shows. So basically, the feeding must be, the kennels must be very kept very clean. Each and every dog must, must have his own uh, feeding plate and the watering as well. And the, the dog food must be very special. You must look at the nutrition, what uh, the, the, the meal that make it uh, to be really healthy. Uh, so like this one, uh, this one is Laika. Laika has a transponder at this point. Uh, they actually inside by veterinaries at this point. So in case like this dog, you lose it, you can always trace it. You get, yeah, so they are normally fixed here by veterinarians when their dogs are young at whatever age. Pick up a dog. That's a cool one. Yeah, yeah. You know, see how it goes. Up a cocky fool. Cocky fool, yeah. And they just uh, become very friendly. Uh, over here, actually, where they are cleaned, they dip for tick infections and whatever. Up here, we are installing a 10,000 tank because they, to keep the area quite clean. 
and uh, so that we have plenty of water over here. Thorough training for a security guard at Metropole takes 21 days before deploying them to different working stations. He goes uh, through the training for 21 days, through them for 21 days, in which case he's trained on various aspects. He's trained on drills for physical fitness, then he did sit in class also for the other bit. They are trained on various aspects of security, ranging from what a security guard and what are the duties of a security guard, how do you conduct your duties, and how do you carry yourself while, while on duty, and how basically A to Z about being about security. You transform that person from uh, a, man, a common mananshi to a security personnel for those interested in it, and they come out very well after 21 days of training. Once you deploy them, uh, they basically you find them actually executing what you told them to do. So basically, the training takes 21 days, but they are taken, uh, 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 they are taken through uh, basically a lot of stuff, hygiene, handing over and taking away assignments, carrying out patrols, uh, searching, how do you do conduct, conduct searches, how do you do customer care, how do you handle clients, how do you respond to clients, how do you handle loot clients, all that, such that at the day, how do you dress the need for smartness or on duty, all that, at the end of that, at the end of the day, you find that a person actually executes his duties. Immediately, we have a variety of clients, ranging from individuals to corporates, SMBs, and large organizations, even government institutions. Uh, we are guarding institutions like churches, a number of churches. We are guarding hospitals. Uh, we are guarding uh, banks. For instance, we are guarding um, uh, a microfinance bank called SMEP, microfinance bank. We have over 20 guards with them, ranging from uh, Rongai, Kawangware, Mweki, Theka, Mwea, Ebu branch, Meru branch, up to Shuka branch. Uh, so as a bank, we have organizations, we are also guarding um, Agricultural Resource Information Center, that is the name of Kali, the government institution, and other, other commercial buildings, like Krishna Center in Westlands, um, construction companies or development companies, we basically guard the mighty, the small and the mighty. Yeah, basically for uniforms, it depends with client needs or the particular duty that we are carrying in a place. In a place that we need to be incognito, we use people guards in civilian because we need uh, maybe to collect certain information. But it has a requirement in the industry, basically where a guard is actually working as a regular guard, it's good for him to be uniformed for recognition as well. And uh, at least for the first point is that this is the regular guard that works for us. Because if the, if the guard will have to work in civilian, uh, they will do, maybe they, they will not be neat, they will not be tidy, and you can't recognize them. But so, like a, like a discipline force, it is good when the guards are uniform, and uh, it, it, was, it shows the, 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 it recognizes them. And also, but in areas, you have areas that require different kind of uniforms. You have the regular uniforms. We have like hotels that may request that we make a special kind of uniform for the guards working in hotels. And we have areas where you have clients requesting for the guards not to be in uniform. All, all is workable because actually we sit down with the client to understand the client's needs. And, uh, and basically now we deliver the service as per the client is requesting. The security dog should have all its certificates, including its birth certificate to medical certificate, which Metropole Security as a young company has. The dog certificate must show the dog's chain of birth and the previous owners. Pedigree dogs, I mean, they are dogs which are registered with East African Kennel Club. And there's a dog whose uh, the parental history is known. And every pedigree dog should have a registration certificate. This is a very unique certificate and it's like a bad certificate. You cannot have any other dog registered under this. So how you do is that every time that you have a mother who is, who is registered and a father who is registered and you serve a mother with a registered father, they are both registered. You should get a certificate from that, that as in once the mother gives birth, she registered that the whole litter with the kennel crab and each puppy should be issued with the certificate. That is a bad certificate or just certificate. After this, you should have what we call the parental history. Uh, what we call the pedigree certificate. It registers up to the 30th parent. It shows you who is the father of the puppy and who is the mother of the puppy. Who are the grandparents? Who are the parents of the father? 
Who are the parents of the, the grandparents? Who are the great grandparents of the grandparents? That is actually each and every pedigree that just a dog should have. Those are the two. One of the, the second item should have. The third item, you sh each, each, and every, each and every pedigree dog has a transfer certificate through Kennel Club. The seller should sign that he's a transfer that dog to Marseille or to whoever from George or from Metropole to the other person. I sign, then I take this to Kennel, it's after Kennel Club, then they register the new owner of the dog. So this document should go with the other two documents. The third item, every pedigree dog should have a medical certificate. This certificate that shows from the time the puppy was born, which vaccinations it has been vaccinated up to the time you are buying that. So that you are able to know your puppy, what vaccine you have, it has been vaccinated up to where it is. And it is what you should continue with up to the time you ever want to sell that dog. It's got a cert medical certificate. That is the fourth document every pedigree dog, dog should have. Uh, the fourth item, but not the other, every dog breeder should give you information about the dog. Uh, the particular breed, more information about how you got to feed it, how you got to keep it, and the likes. The other item, uh, pedigree dogs, most of them they are normally fitted with uh, uh, animal transponders. So if you steal this dog, this is a microchip. There are many people who tell you that they breed dogs, but what they breed, they can, you'll ask them, do they have certificate? Are they registered? You'll tell you yes, because they have a medical certificate, because he has registered all the injections they are given to that dog. But that dog, he cannot tell you who is the mother, who is the father. And now, dealing with the dogs that are not registered or dogs that are not known their history or the parental history, those are, that's the origin of the case that we are hearing dogs, dogs uh, chewing their, their, their breeders. Because what people have done is cross, 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 cross bread, German shepherds and lot of At the end of the day, you have an animal, a dog, you don't know what it is. Then you say you've got a German shepherd. At some age, that thing would have to be an animal and chew you up with your family. So you should only advise people to deal with the properly registered dogs, a dog with a number of certificates. But what we do, this is our certificate for our dogs. And this is uh, like, an, each and every dog has its own name. This is a certificate for Fikas Losa. This is a certificate for Dalla House Nazizi. You see them, they're behind here. This is a certificate for Fikas Losa has two, because it's a, it's a certificate that was given and plus one, one to us, so we have two certificates. These are pedigrees for Dalla House Nazizi. These are pedigree certificates for Fikas Losa. You know, one of the unique things about uh, this dog, the grandmother, is uh, over 10 times a German dog championship winner. And for that reason, I went a great time to acquire Laika, is uh, our jewel. And I, I asked how she is every other day. Because already the market, they are booking the puppies for Laika one gets to that. So that's a unique thing. Dogs are lovely. But you do it well, you can just love it because you know a dog, you know its history, the parents. You can only visit and know who is has, who is the. You go to a place and you get to know, like even it is, I can know who is the breeder of the grand parent. And when I can visit that breed, I can see this is the grandfather of certain dog that I have, and that really gives you really feel good because like I know you and I know you are grand parents also. I really feel I know you. You are able to relate very well. So once we install CCTV cameras and other intrusion uh, detectors, uh, we connect all those devices to a transmitter. A transmitter will connect any interference with other devices uh, to a certain transmitter that we fix over there. The transmitter is connected to a, to a decoding machine over here and will send a signal to our transmitter machine over here. Once we are here, the controller is able to see that there is a trigger from a certain place. I'm able to call the backup in the field and tell them to respond to a certain site or a certain residence that he has received this, uh, the activation from. And then the backup is able to rush to the site. We sign a contract that within a certain period should have been to the site and the backup responds to the site. This is the control room where I operate from. It is the heart of the company. This simply means all the information from our clients is received in this room and whatever we receive, we escalate the same to the management. We also get the calls from people outside requesting for our services, whereby we explain to them the requirements, for example, the changes, also, we do survey all those informations 
also escalated to the management. We also call our guns, unormally guns or man failures assignments, briefing them on the do's and the don'ts as they work outside there. We also communicate with our supervisors who usually supervise our guns both in day and the night. That means this room is 24 or 7 operational. We normally communicate with our supervisors, guiding them on where to go and what to do. Especially we might get emergencies whereby we send them and they respond immediately. We also have a backup which normally goes around our assignments responding to various issues and we do communicate with him through a call. All instructions are also given from this room and uh, what we get, we update our staff on a daily basis. I decided to choose security because of my heights. In a fine on a socialized now at Mengi, any on a meet now at Mengi when you would eat a rajia and because of passion. No shift because I'm flexible and is a is my passion so I can do any shift. much for being with us throughout the show but be sure to catch us again next week only on Fanaka TV for more new company discoveries. You can also be in touch with us on our social media platforms running below your screens and if you want your company to be featured also be sure to send us a direct message. I was your host Masiwa Irire.